Nintendo has officially saved 2020 right now with Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And they were completely honest with us. They told us that it will take longer to develop Breath of the Wild 2, which also AJ Numa highlighted, and said that here is something to hold you over and also get hyped for in 2020. Since Age of Calamity, the prequel story to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, will launch on the Nintendo Switch on November 20th. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe and press that notification bell to not miss any of our upcoming theories, predictions and so on, as more updates are coming on Saturday, September 26. And we start this uh, trailer talking about the history of Calamity Ganon. And that is pretty much what the first 10 seconds of the trailer is, talking about the story of Calamity Ganon. First at the 10 second mark, we see Guardian Stalkers burning down Castletown, but from new angles and scenes compared to the cutscenes found in Breath of the Wild. And these last until the 16 seconds, where we see Hyrule Castle being covered in malice. At the 19 seconds, we go back before the Calamity. Hyrule Castle is at its prime and the seat of the Kingdom of Hyrule, the Royal Family and the Incubant King, Rome Basforamus Hyrule. At the 23rd seconds, we see Knight or Soldierling, which looks very similar to the opening of Hyrule Warriors. I actually think this is very early on in the game, because Link is not a champion and he's not been selected to pull the Master Sword, because we see him wielding a different weapon. At the 25th second, we see Zelda walking around inside the castle and also outside. The first one is possibly in Hyrule Sanctum, or, or it could also be in some other chamber. The castle was, after all, completely covered in malice in Breath of the Wild. But obviously, this is Zelda before she goes out on the quest after the champions have been appointed. At the 31 seconds, we see the sacred grounds being defended by Hyrule's army. And this is probably the first new thing that we see. Hyrule's soldiers in action, together with Link, fighting, but in Link's case, destroying Red Book Goblins in classic warrior style. Obviously, the gameplay is going to be very different than the one seen in Breath of the Wild. But as we'll see further on in this trailer, there are different categories and different coloring for the same type of enemies. This scene, set in central Hyrule, where we also see the massive Hyrule garrison in the distance, lasts until the 38th second, where we see a red moblin destroying Hylian soldiers in central Hyrule. Then we cut back to plenty of cutscenes at the 40th second. We see Zelda with Mipha and Champion Link. Some time has passed, the Master Sword has been pulled, and we know that this is taking place after the induction ceremony that we remember from the Champion's Ballad. The same goes for the 42nd second, where we see Champion Link with Revali in some unknown scenario. At the 43rd seconds, and from here on, things go very fast. Since already in the next second, the 43rd, we see Red Moblins, Bokoblins and Lizalfos approaching the walls of Castletown. In the 44th second, we see Link using the bomb rune to destroy blue Bokoblins in their camp at Central Hyrule. At the 46th second, King Rome commands his army from what seems to be the top of the walls of Castletown, defending the kingdom from the incoming invasion. Obviously, all of this is taking place before Calamity Ganon rises his head. But at the 48th second, we see the moment itself. Champion Link, Princess Zelda and the young Impa witness from the lower portion of Hyrule Castle that Calamity Ganon has taken over the castle. Zelda also at the same time witnesses as the corrupted Guardian Stalkers emerge from the ancient Sheikah pillars surrounding Hyrule Castle. No doubt, it's time to run. And you know this emerging scene from the ancient Sheikah pillars surrounding Hyrule Castle? This was actually drawn and depicted in creating a champion, but we never saw it in Breath of the Wild in any of the memories or any cutscene. This is the first time we see these in action. 50 seconds in, Guardian Stalkers touch ground and begin the hunt after the Hylians and especially after Champion Link and Princess Zelda. 53 seconds in, King Rome in Hyros Castle's sanctum giving orders to his daughter Princess Zelda and the kneeling Impa and soldier Link. This scene is probably set either shortly before Link pulled the Master Sword or right after Link pulled the Master Sword, shortly before he was granted his champion tunic and his title as a champion and Zelda's chosen knight. And then we get to probably one of my favorite scenes at all at the 55th second. I absolutely love this scene. It's possibly set in Hyrule Castle Town, but it could also be at Akawa Citadel. We see cannons in multiple locations in this game. So cannons, despite only being seen at Akala Citadel in Breath of the Wild, were present multiple locations. After all, the invasion of the monsters came before the calamity itself. After calming down, seeing that amazing action sequence, at the 56th second, we see Stal monsters emerge from the ground. Stal Coblin, Stal Moblin, and Stal Lizalfos 
in a burnt out destroyed village or what could be the eastern or western side of Hyrule Castle Town. At the 59 second, we see Zora's domain and a red main lino, exactly the same type as we faced in Breath of the Wild. One minute in, or 60 seconds, Princess Zelda is seen with the Sheikah Slate for the first time playable as she faces the Lionel, freezes him in time by using the Stasis Room. I'm so happy. This could be a tease of things to come in Breath of the Wild too, and there's way more where that is coming from. Since at 61 seconds, we get to see the next playable character, Princess and Champion Mifa, facing a Guardian Stalker with a light scale trident and an unknown water based move attack. This move is typical for Musou Warriors games. It was not seen in Breath of the Wild, and it doesn't resemble anything we saw in Breath of the Wild. Obviously, this attack results with Mifa hitting straight into the eye weak spot of the Guardian Stalker. 64 seconds in, Champion Urbosa, together with her Garuda Warriors, face invading Yiga Blade Masters and Foot Soldiers in Garuda Town's main square. We see Urbosa wielding her Scimitar of the Seven Heroines and her Daybreaker shield infused with her fury and slices up a Blade Master. 67 seconds in, Champions Daruk, Mifa, Link, Urbosa and Rivali in what could be Elden or possibly even the Gate leading up to Mount Laneru. It's hard to tell exactly when this is, but it's not long before the Calamity itself, since we don't see the champions much together until Zelda fails in unlocking her power at the Spring of Wisdom. 69 seconds. Divine Beast Varudanya. Obviously, Champion Daruk is within here, controlling the Divine Beast, getting ready to target the Calamity Gunner. 71 seconds. Zora's soldiers spear off against Red Moblins and Bokoblins at Rutala Dam, or more precisely, the section next to Mikau Lake and Zora's Domain. Sadly, this skirmish ends most likely with Bokoblin and Moblin victory, as they likely kill the Zora soldiers. 72 seconds in, champion the Rook in front of a Kala Citadel. On the side we see a Guardian Stalker, but the Rook's attention is targeted towards a Black Hinox, and with his Boulder Breaker, unleashes a special unknown magma rock based move attack which seems to be exclusive to the Warrior series. 76 seconds in, Champion Rivali destroys a swarm of Dark Bokoblins nearby Rito Village in the Tabanta, or if you prefer Hebra province, with his Great Eagle Bow. 77 seconds in, things are turning bleak, as Champion Link, with the Master Sword in his right arm and Hylian Shield in his left, is blocking a lightning attack. We don't know exactly from which enemy this is, it could be a Wizrobe, it could be a Lizalfos, it could be someone else. But then we get to the tear jerkers of this reveal trailer, since at the 77 second spot we see Champion Urbosa fighting Thunderblight Ganon inside Divine Beast Van Boris. And we get a grim reminder that this story has a tragic end as Urbosa falls down on her knees. These are moments before her own demise. 78 seconds. A terrified champion Mifa confronts Waterblight Ganon. 79 seconds. A determined champion Daruk does his best to hold Fireblight Ganon. 79 seconds as well. Champion Rivali is hit in his confrontation against Windblight Ganon. All these four scenes depict the moments right before the death of the Gerudo, Zora, Goron and Rito champions. 80 seconds in, Princess Zelda and Champion Link have made their way from the East Laneru Road gate and reached Castletown, but are too late and instead witness as a Guardian Stalker slightly misses them. 81 seconds, Ganondorf for Calamity Ganon succeeds in taking over Hyrule Castle and covers Castletown in thick malice. From 81 seconds to 85 seconds, Ganondorf unleashes the first Blood Moon and Calamity Ganon rises up to greet it, and at the 86th second we get the title reveal. Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. 97 seconds, the Awoken Princess Zelda unleashes her sacred power and tears up, thinking about protecting her loved ones while doing so. 110 seconds, next update on Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is coming on Saturday, September 26. And that is pretty much our analysis, second by second, of the reveal trailer of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Now then, there was actually a little bit more than the trailer itself. So let's go over some of the attached screenshots which revealed a little more. A big thanks to Nintendo for providing these images. First and foremost, we have this adorable mini or baby guardian in the box art, with Zelda and all the champions, which oh my god I need as a statue or amiibo. But based on the dark nature and tone of this game, one of the most heartbreaking moments might be when this potential companion turns corrupted and goes against us. But for me personally, the next screenshot was even better, since we get to see Hyrule Castle Town seen from above. And what I want you to direct your attention to is in the left corner, namely Hyrule Cathedral. This is the first time we see this building and site of worship in any form 
It wasn't in creating a champion, it wasn't in the memories, and to this point we have only seen its ruins. On the horizon, we also see the massive Hyrule garrison, pretty much all of central Hyrule in one frame. This is an amazing screenshot. Next, we have Zelda using the Magnesis rune, and in the next screenshot we see her causing devastation in Upper Leneiru with the same rune against red moblins and bokoblins, but also the Zelfers. No doubt, Zelda is playable, as we see her cause mayhem in Western Castle Town with her bomb runes, and Link defending the town from too many bokoblins. But Link in this cutscene is actually a soldier, so it seems that there will be multiple waves of attacks. One being the monsters, where Link is still a soldier, and then Link becomes the champion and the rest we know from Breath of the Wild, and will also learn from Age of Calamity. But what is also very interesting, and I'm not sure about this being canon, is Link as a soldier facing corrupted guardian stalkers and many, many other enemies. I would like to see some explanation, but luckily we have the update on September 26 and the game is coming out in a little over two months. And one thing I'm really looking forward to see is the army of Hyrule, which is prepared with all the cannons and cannonballs and their entire arsenals, garrisons, citadels and so on. And on top of that, Link also has a pre-order bonus ladle, which will add stat buffs, and which we see poses so nicely with in Hyrule Castle Town in this image. And that is pretty much it guys, so be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't already by pressing that red button and turning it grey, the two channel colours, and of course press that notification bell and again for all notifications if you haven't already, and please enjoy one or both of these two awesome videos. We'll see you in the next Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity video.